Number 12 then from the 2014 Advanced Hire, a little integration by substitution. Find the exact value of this using this substitution. Well, let's just change that to credential first of all. dx by d theta would be sec squared theta. So that means dx can be replaced by sec squared theta d theta and changing the limits at the same time. If x equals zero, that means that tan theta equals zero, so theta equals zero. And if x equals one, then tan theta equals one and it's tan 45, that's pi up in four for theta. Right, let's start filling this in then. So that was zero to pi upon four. The dx was sec squared theta d theta. The one plus x squared will become a one plus tan theta squared. And that's all to the power three upon two. Now, one plus tan squared theta. You remember that connection from sine squared plus cos squared equals 1. Dividing them all by cos squared gives you tan squared plus 1 equals sec squared. So 1 plus tan squared is sec squared. So that will be the integral from 0 to pi upon 4 of sec squared over, again, another sec squared. But this is the power 3 upon 2. So that's going to be power 3. So with power 2 on top and power 3 underneath, there'll be one sec left underneath. Well, I use a line just to show that because there's an obvious next step. I will do. So you're left just with one sec underneath, which means that that's the same as the integral from 0 to pi upon 4 of sec is 1 over cos. I'll use that there anyway. So that means that it's just simply cos theta d theta. So that will integrate back to sine theta to be evaluated at 0 and pi upon 4. So that will be sine pi upon 4 minus sine theta. Sine pi upon 4 is 1 upon root 2. Sine 0, I mean, is 0. So the final answer is 1 upon root 2. Or if you want, 2 over root 2. So there we are.